that goes in from the top like this. Um, you got to get enough clearance to get in there. The CV boots in the way. So I put a jack here and just jacked up the A arm, and then that gives starts to give you a gap there. I didn't want to jack it up too much, but uh, there's enough of a gap there now. So uh, the other way is to uh, undo the uh, put the other side on jack stand, have the whole front end in the air. But uh, it looks like this is gonna work. The second jack. Okay, just want to show you how I got this uh, this uh, sway bar link out. Um, I used a pickle fork um, because the bottom was uh, rusted and sheared off. Just a, a bushing, stubborn bushing, so I had to pop it out from the top. Um, so I used this. But otherwise, uh, you can get a, a crescent wrench or something on the top on that uh, washer. It's actually like a hex head and then a socket on the bottom. Mine's just it popped out. It was just hanging there. This is the passenger side. Uh, here's the new one. There's a spacer thing. This goes in the center. So this will be on the A-arm right here. Then you'll have that. Then you'll have this. Then this will go on the and the sway arm will go right there. Put some uh, thread locker on there. This isn't even a lock nut. Okay cheap but uh this was the cheaper one so anyway uh but it is made in the usa so uh i'm just gonna do the one side this thing's been humming so i replaced the bearings on the driver's side and uh, then i noticed this was hanging down it's still humming even after replacing the bearings on that side so we'll see there's the old one what's left of it so yeah, I got my pickle fork under there and it popped the old bushings out. And that was all rusted out. No bolt, no nut. But that is, uh, you can get a wrench on the top if it's still good. Otherwise you'll have to cut it or use the pickle fork like I did and beat it in there. I'm right here. That's right like that beat it in there kind of scarred it up a little bit but not bad okay yep yeah you just push it down from the top you got a gap yeah, you just let the jack down a little bit right here under the a-arm that brings it closer and then we'll put some blue loctite on there whatever kind you want I didn't do the other side. We'll just test it out like this side was just hanging down and that side over there, the driver's side was humming. So I don't know. Let's see what happens. And that was after replacing the bearings and the ball joint over there and the, the tie rod end. This side we haven't done. I just used a 1916's deep socket. Needs to be a deep socket. Sticking out like an inch and a quarter or something. Put some Loctite on there. 